hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again my name is kennedy if you've not seen me before please if you've not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing please hit the subscribe button down there and like this video if you like it and share with your friends i would really appreciate that today we're going to talk about biochemistry let me know in the comment section what you think about this course do you think biochemistry is very difficult do you think biochemistry is easy do you think biochemistry is doable do you think it is in fact not doable whichever category just let me know down in the comment section what you think today i want to keep this video very short i want to see if i can keep it under five minutes and i'm going to share one important idea with you on what you can do to actually know biochemistry and go from just memorizing and mixing up concepts to actually knowing the information and making use of it one of the common complaints people have is mixing up enzymes and drugs for example enzymes and pathologies so when it's acute intermittent porphyria, you want to ask, okay, which of um which of them has uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase or which of them has deaminase? Is it acute intermittent porphyria or porphyria cutanea tada? You know, sometimes you mix up stuff with biochemistry and enzymes and diseases. And that's how questions come. They, they often give you vignettes and then they ask you which enzyme is deficient, or they ask you the diagnosis, which is the easier part. What do I think? How do I think you can learn biochemistry easier? This is it. Learn how to draw the pathways. Draw them a hundred times. Draw them a hundred and fifty times. Just get a notebook. When I did biochemistry a year, two years ago, I drew every single pathway. I'm sure I've drawn most of those pathways up to a hundred times. I had a book for pathways. And what I would do is just draw the pathway and draw the pathway and draw the pathway every single chance I get. And what happens is eventually you actually begin to remember the pathway and the attachments to the pathway. Some pathways are important and some pathways are not important. There are pathways that you just have to know how to draw. And I'm going to tell you, pathways like purine metabolism, pyrimidine synthesis, purine salvage pathway, heme synthesis, those are very important pathways. And I'll tell you why they're important. They're important because they tie into a lot of pathologies. They tie into a lot of other systems. So look at pyrimidine synthesis. From your pyrimidine synthesis alone, you have to, you 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 know almost five, six, seven, eight drugs. So leflunomide, time, um, 5 fluoracil methotrexate, trimethoprim, hydroxyurea, and then from your pyrimidine synthesis, it's metaptopurine, um, ribavirin, and stuff like that. So look at how many drugs you have on just one pathway. You have antibiotic medications, you have hematologic drugs, hydroxyurea, you have oncologic drugs, leflunomide and um, metrotrexate and all that. So this pathway becomes very high yield. You look at your purine salvage pathway, look at how many diseases come from that pathway. Look at your heme synthesis, B6 deficiency, cytoplasmic anemia, iron deficiency anemia, um, your porphyrias and all of that. When a pathway has so many um, connections to it, that is a pathway you have to know how to draw. How do you draw them? You don't have to draw something this complex, something, you know, too long. You can always draw the shorthand of the pathway. You can always draw the shorthand of the pathway. Um, on my Instagram page, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. On my statuses on Instagram for the rest of the week, I'm going to be posting pathways, just biochemistry pathways to, for the rest of this week. And in case you miss any of the pathways for any of the days, I'll try to create a, whatever, what, what do they call that? A small stuff, whatever that is. And I'll try to put them together in that path of Instagram. So you can always see them. But learn the shorthand of the pathways. Please be able to draw the pathways. Don't just memorize that, oh, Europoferinogen decarboxylase is for free acutane atada. This enzyme is for this. This enzyme is for this. I think that's more difficult. It looks easier, but indeed it's more difficult. If you can learn how to draw the pathway and fit in the drugs where they are supposed to be, I can tell you that your biochemistry is going to get much better. The second advantage to knowing how to draw the pathway, if you've done some biochemistry questions before, you know that one of the things they ask is what substance is accumulating or what substance is going to be low. For example, they can give you a question and what they're going to ask you is which of these is accumulating in this disease. How are you going to remember what is accumulating if you don't know how to draw the pathway? So you can memorize that, okay, if I give someone HMG 
we dump these inhibitors, for example, um, HMG-CoA is going to accumulate, mevalonate is going to decrease. But that's because that's a short pathway, right? There are some pathways that are long and a whole lot of things are going on there. You need to know how to draw the pathway to be certain what is accumulating and what is the next step that is going to be decreased. I don't know if that makes sense to you in any way. There are those are the two major advantages I see from knowing the pathways. First, you're going to be able to remember everything about the pathway. Remember all the drugs on the pathway. Beautiful for you to be able to do that. And second, you're not going to get confused when they ask you what is accumulating or what is going to be low in this patient. I hope this has helped you. Please subscribe to this channel if you're not getting to a thousand subscribers. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Please like this video. Please share with your friends. Follow me on Instagram. See the short and see the short hand of those pathways I'm telling you about, and see how these pathways can be integrated to various other concepts. I'll see you on the next video, and I'll see you on Instagram. Until then, please review biochemistry, enjoy biochemistry, and keep brushing.